Hello everybody, welcome to game one of Give Me Money. Um, the reason that this is a replay is because what happened was I uh, I was a bit sad and I made a stream called Be Nice To Me or Give Me Money and I was playing lots of music and therefore all of the thoughts were deleted by Twitch and of course not use, not uploadable to YouTube. So here we are just doing replays of these first two games with this high health team. Uh, just killed a guy. Very nice. Instant Kaz. Death, in fact. He could have conceded here, couldn't he, really? Uh, with a dead... A dead lineman. <laughs> Would have been quite a reasonable game, though. It's only a lineman, but still. Could have done. Yeah, Lehman Russ, yeah. Yeah. Beat a... Beta got us a um, got us a warning. <laughs> and thought about just not blitzing here um, because you know if I push, I'm giving away a hit and stuff. But I thought, screw it. And there we go. Another one in nine. <laughs> yeah, let's see, Morida. I got significantly happier at that point. <laughs> Which again, thank you very much. So yeah, pretty like you know, pretty much just made a blob, right? This is a bit far out. Maybe he should have been one one further in. But then he wanted, I wanted to cover the pickup a little bit. I like that the next block is a dub skulls. If I'd re-rolled that one in nine, I'd just got screwed anyway. So yeah, m maybe I allowed him to pick these off a little bit too much at the edges. But I like the big blob because obviously pro elves come in and get the side steppers on you, and uh, it's good to have a lot of stuff in a blob ready to beat them off. <laughs> Because if you don't have a lot of things, like, you know, if you don't have your team as one unit, it's tricky, isn't it? <laughs> Glorious. Thank you, Moradon. <laughs> it's looking that way, yeah, Lehman Russ, yeah. It's looking that way. And then he made this move by mistake. Presumably. Presumably that was a misclick. And uh, I was very happy about that. And that basically lost him the drive, right? It basically loses him the drive because now unimpeded progress through a catcher as well, which is a great play at like Blitz. And, uh, and can blob everything up. Hello, Saturday. Just the games yesterday that uh, to put them on YouTube because... The vaults were deleted by Twitch and everything, and I was playing music and stuff, wasn't I? So, so just on the off chance, I keep this team around for more games, which you know I might do. <laughs> but I think that's the end of the music, anyway. It was a fun couple of days. I guess I could have it on like quieter. I could have the music on quieter, I guess. Or like have some copyright-free music on. When I'm sad. So yeah, kept them, you know, pretty blobby, right? You don't don't want to get too, you know. Obviously, wanted to control these guys on the ground, um, but then still want them quite. I like to go as compact as I can against pro -Ls. Yeah, the problem with non-copyrighted music is it's rubbish. <laughs> Rolls another one there, which gives us another easy progression through this thrower. Uh, which is nice, isn't it? Or, or the, I mean, the catch is a more valuable hit, but the throw is kind of a safer hit. So I'm sure I'll go through the thrower. Being a safe person by nature. There we go. Look at this. Safe moves first. Love to see it. Act 
actual safe moves first. Ah, is it stripping? Is it? He gets he gets a lot of viewers. Yeah. I mean, they're not really watching someone play ogres. They're just watching stripping. <laughs> oh, lawman is there? He's he's been he's been around lately. No. Yeah, he gets a stun there, but it's no big whoop, is it? Four players down, he's not going to really be able, realistically be able to get in the way. He could just try and try and get forward where possible. So again, not great. Not great to be hitting this uh, thrower, but I'd much rather be hitting the catch than the thrower. But it is the safest way through, isn't it? Yeah, he's like a variety streamer, I mean, a variety streamer. Which is pretty much everyone who streams Dream, isn't it? Being able to be a variety streamer. It's pretty good being able to just play whatever the hell you want. But very difficult. But somehow he's managed it. Hello, Ansi. There you go, even quads. Uh, this is pretty safe, isn't it? Get those two there. Don't even get quads. Again, keep everything pretty, pretty compact. A uh, bit of a screen on the cage. Obviously, he's, he's lost so many players that it's pretty easy. Like, you know, I'm not like trying to big myself up here. He's four players down, so I don't need to worry about... point is, I don't really need to worry about getting the penetration right. The penetration is basically automatic at this point. It's just trying to make any kind of basing that he does able to, like, get rid of it easier. But it's an elementary score. So here, the, the better hit is to hit the thrower and go back to the middle again. But, of course, I you know, I reckon I'm going to score anyway, so I just want to hit, hit the catcher. And base him. So still get to go a little bit central. No, not going a little bit central. Still pretty safe though, isn't it? He's only got the one guy behind, so he can't he can't cage dive in this way, which is the easier way. Don't know what his plan is here. Like a classic of commit, isn't it? Way, but I mean, he obviously hasn't got any players, so it's not terrible. Like it's not good and doesn't achieve anything, but also <laughs> you can't really slate somebody for over committing when they've only got five players to commit anyway. But I guess I would have tried to hold the edge, like hold the edge with a side stepper, hold both edges with side steppers, and then have the other guys in the middle. But, you know, you're not going to hold whatever you do, I guess. So now I'll hand off to the uh, Blitzer and try and level him. Seems a good idea. A little bit risky, isn't it? At the mercy of one in 36. Should have had him on the other side as well, I realised, after I was after I realised I was just going to do it anyway. Thought he should have been on the other side, just in case. 
Make it a little bit harder for the elves to get there. And of course this makes them more resilient to the old 1D. The 1D dive if it happens. Which it doesn't because he's rolled another one. <laughs> and he did roll a lot of ones. Okay, here comes the dive. No, he doesn't even dive. Well, I think he had the dive and one D, and then hope I felt it. But like, there's nothing he can do really. Is there? Nothing he can realistically do. So I like, I like trying for the power here, and then, like, okay, it's a blockless block. But the fact that it gives you an extra chance, like, I could have, I could have just tried to blitz, but wouldn't have been able to fill in all the squares anyway. Initially. Surf this sidestepper, which is always fun. And Kazin, way, way, justice, you might say. And just didn't have enough movement to uh, get a three D here, so I don't want to risk a one eighty one. Especially after casting the Blitzer, there's like no real need to do more damage, is there? That was a pretty great 8 turn stall, no need to uh, dacker or anything of course. The reason that I didn't dacker was because of course Proyles are on the 7. So I should beat them up with normal dice, should beat them up a little bit. And did beat them up a little bit. Um, I didn't think that there was much chance of a 1 turn, so I thought I'll just set up in Chevron so that if there's a riot... I got a bit of a better chance against Riot. Proils are pretty good two turning, aren't they? So I thought it was, it was worth protecting against the Riot as much as I could. Oh, a dead high elf because uh, <laughs> my first few days in the ladder were absolutely terrible getting somebody killed every single game so of course why would this be any different at least it's only alignment I guess he just runs in forward for fun there is only one turn It's the completion amazing. Yeah, could have just run and catch her back for that, but didn't. Never mind. So go for the Gedanic. Gedanic defense. I do enjoy that. My favorite defense. Works fine down a player. to push down push down here and there's like obviously I'm okay with him scoring in two it's it's hard to stop anyway right with nerves of steel um, so I 
think, just uh, punch them. Punch them and try and stop the stall rather than uh, try to stop the skull. I think I start with a bit of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a bit of pressure so that he's you know he's got to do something. You don't want them just to be able to burn turns forever. So yeah, just these two were enough. And probably blitz this catcher. And hang around. Nice. I could have uh, based the blitzer and based him. I can't win the cup uh, with Olga's two tall brown. That's not possible. Not by me or anybody else. <laughs> yeah, I ended up just down there. So if, if, I should have made that decision earlier and like done it earlier. And then I could have uh, based him as well. Oh, I blitz with him and he could have blitz with block, but never mind. And he didn't even pass it to the catcher anyway. There you go. So yeah, I mean, there's no stopping that. This player called Potato score is glorious. Because it wouldn't have mattered how much I faced the uh, catcher, he'd have just caught it on twos with a reroll. And scored. So 10 versus 9. And just the same again, right? Just grind it down. Keep the team together. Keep the ball safe. Hopefully get a completion on, on that blitzer on five. To level him. Or a Kaz, of course. There's a blitz, luckily. We've got a bit of an anti-blitz defense. About as good as it could be. I don't know if... They, I, I tend to do this rather than him one forward, because then it's just hard, a little bit harder to base him. Because, like, you could base both of these right, so that's why I like him a bit further back. So at least one of them's reactive. Oh. And he goes for all the dice rolls. Doesn't re-roll it. I mean, he's only got two re-rolls, but maybe he should have re-rolled it. I guess. You know, and then like tried other things as well. If you're going to go down that route, maybe go in. So one in thirty-six to lose the game there, right? That was. Uh, if that had been a failed pickup, it's all over. Um. But I still just felt like I had to do well. I had the re-roll for sure. Maybe one, maybe this blitzer could have hit him and then he could have come back to cover that. Maybe that's one thing I could have done. Maybe cover against the first pickup. Just punch things. Punch, 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 max blocks. Ninety percent of blood ball, I guess, is maxing blocks. And then blitz him so I can remark after the sidestep, and there was nothing else to do. So we've got a bit of ball contact here, but he hasn't, he has, obviously he's lost one of his sidesteppers. The other was stunned, so it's relatively easy clears. Yes, it looks like, but I mean, I'm, I can't move forward really, because right? I've got a blitz backwards, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk, I'm not going to risk the game on 1 in 36 here. So just blitz back and stay there. I've got plenty of time to move forward. This isn't just safety first, it's safety first, second and third right now. 
Very important just to remain completely safe at all times. And you know it's important to not risk the game on a one in thirty six, right? You'll see, you'll see a lot of people who lose the game because of a one in thirty six, and they're like, "Oh, what can you do? Diced, rolled snakes at the critical time." But at the end of the day, if they're making, you know, if they're making ten one in thirty sixes that lose them the game, and you're making two one in thirty sixes that lose you the game, then they're going to lose five times as much as you, aren't they? So, you know. So now, without having to blitz the ball for even now, can go forward a little bit. This is a 1 in 36. I think I'm going to hand off here. Which again, I've already done the wrong way around. He should have already been back, right? Yeah. He should have been further up. He should have been back if I was going to hand off to him, I guess. Rather than in the front. But, um... It's okay, isn't it? And that was a bit dodgy, but there's only a few turns left, and I've got the re-rolls, and obviously I want to level him. So yeah, this 3v3 over here is fine, isn't it? And this guy down there. So obvious players just to blitz this guy and take this space here. Easy turn. This is a little bit far, maybe. Maybe should have been one, one over. Never mind. So yeah, we've got, we've got a big line here. But again, the idea is to keep them all all together in case of sidestepping shenanigans, basically. All right, just intense pressure. Intense cage pressure is the only way he's going to get anything done. Like, I've got too much movement and too much time and too many players from the veil like screen. So his, own, his only hope is to just throw players at the cage. So by at least having everyone there to be able to support each other, it's going to make it difficult for him. Beautiful non-knockdown. So now it's just a completely devastating turn here to uh, move up. Now, obviously what I could have done here was to blitz either one of these two and, and get down, but I want to do the completion now to get it on the catcher to level to level the blitzer and get the catcher half leveled. <laughs> a bit greedy. This could have been a better turn. A better, less greedy turn, but... You know, I'm obviously, I'm obviously pretty confident now. He's not even that like only two players up as well. Like he's not even that men, that many men down. He's got eight versus ten. It's not that horrific for him, but I don't know. I'm just feeling pretty confident.
That's pretty good. here. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah. So got so got the screen. These four players are all screened off from the doing anything, aren't they? So he's got four players that can do something, and four players that are screened off essentially. Splits again is to go for the catcher because he's good. That gets us a cage here. Maybe here. At a glance, I'm going to say here. Ah, oh, one away. Disgusterous. We could just try some twos to tidy it up. Make a screen as well. I think I shouldn't have made that extra GFI. I was thinking of getting everybody out here, and I probably shouldn't have done. Probably should have just thought of like one more guy to get a screen. Which was that one. But then this would have made like a bit more of a screen. Why did why didn't I Oh because he was the so the reason was yeah, okay, so the reason uh, so I guess I shouldn't have made those GFIs and he should have been there. The reason was because I wanted to keep him on there because at the end of the day the, the side steps are pretty annoying, aren't they? And the other guys can all just be easily pushed. Very annoying sidestep. We got one lateral square possible. Goes for the cage dive. Fails it, glory. So don't even have to block here. But might as well do a 3D. Just like all, in all the Chalice games when I criticise people for not making it a 3 dice block. I do make this a 3 dice block. There you go. Fantastic. Love to see that. Actual 3 dice block. Rewarded with a power. And a bit of a bit of toxic showboating in the end zone. Glorious. <laughs> so there you go. It was a a rather nice, pretty uneventful match. The only problem was, of course, the deadline man. But it's not it's not that annoying, to be fair, for a, a rookie high off team. Not not too annoying. Uh, MVP on lineman is fine. He can get a completion in another game. So yeah. Not bad. There you go. That was game one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.